Energy is the word for today's Commodities Corner programme as I'm joined on the line now by Hans van Cleef of ABN AMRO to discuss their Energy Monitor report for February. Hi Hans, thanks very much for joining me. First on our energy list, let's discuss oil. You've increased your forecast for Brent crude this year to an average of $100 a barrel, up $5 from your initial forecast. The 100 level hasn't been seen since Q2 of last year. Talk us through this new projection. Uh, yes, indeed, we uh, adjusted our forecast for Brent oil prices, uh, and the main two reasons are, uh, w which led to this adjustment are uh, a bigger than expected impact of Middle East tensions, uh, which resulted in a spillover risk to major oil producers, and this kept oil prices elevated for longer than, than we initially expected. And furthermore, we, uh, uh, the, the dollar expect uh, appreciation which we expected to happen did not materialize yet, and therefore uh, Brent oil is still trading around 110 uh, US dollars. Uh, well, nevertheless, uh, since we still expect uh, Brent oil prices to decline during the coming years, uh, we believe that a downward trend uh, uh, will remain in place, and the, the, the arguments uh, for, for lower oil prices are um, uh, basically the continued oversupply, uh, a dollar appreciation in the coming years, uh, easing tensions in the Middle East, and this uh, combined with a modest economic recovery. You also outline a diverging picture between the US and European gas markets. How do you see price performance averaging out between a leap in demand to heat up a US deep freeze and what's been a markedly mild winter here in Europe? Uh, yes, because of this cold in the U.S., uh, U.S. natural gas prices at levels above uh, $5.50 per MMBTU. Um, because of this increased seasonal demand, uh, we believe that as soon as temperatures uh, start to normalize, natural gas prices will start to decline. Um, and as a result, we expect an average price for U.S. natural gas, or Henry Hub, uh, of uh, $4.25 uh, in uh, 2014. Uh, for the following years, uh, we do think uh, the, a moderate appreciation will be seen, uh, mainly triggered by an increased uh, demand as a result of economic growth. Uh, in Europe, uh, the, the situation is completely different. Indeed, prices are low at this moment due to the mild winter. Um, but we think that the longer term uh, trend uh, of, of declining prices will, will continue, mainly triggering, uh, triggered because um, of the decoupling with oil prices. So, uh, taking that together, we see uh, higher U.S. prices for natural gas, we see lower European price for natural gas, and therefore a narrowing uh, price difference. One of the big items in ABN AMRO's energy monitor for February is the present glut in CO2 emission allowances. With subsidies consistently under the microscope, what can be done to revive Europe's efforts to take a market incentive approach to reducing greenhouse gases? Yeah, indeed, there is a huge oversupply of carbon allowances uh, built up since the introduction of the emission trading system in 2005. Uh, and one of the main reasons for that was uh, much lower than expected demand for these allowances due to uh, e uh, economic crisis. Uh, well, first of all, we saw that utilities already benefited by buying these allowances uh, at low prices for later use. Uh, so that already half the oversupply, but it's still uh, a, a huge problem. And last week we saw that the European Parliament approved a backloading program, uh, which means that 900 million uh, of these allowances uh, will be um, uh, called back for the next three years, uh, uh, and even 400 million of that uh, will be uh, called back uh, this year. Uh, although it must still be confirmed by the U uh, EU ministers on February uh, 24th. Um, well, and as a result, your uh, European allowance prices uh, rallied to six dollar uh, six euro fifty uh, per ton, uh, and we think that more upside is uh, possible there. Uh, at least levels are above ten euro uh, per ton uh, could be seen. But uh, to make this uh, ETS scheme uh, really uh, working and, and make it, it, it really uh, having an effect on, on prices, uh, yeah, and these uh, carbon allowance prices should actually uh, increase to at least levels of. 30 to 40 uh, dollars. And lastly then, remaining with the idea of surplus, Thermo Energy, the use of heat waste to create electricity, is experiencing a rise in use. Can you explain this trend to us? 
Uh, yes, that's indeed a, a rising trend, and we still uh, we also believe that this trend uh, will continue to rise. Uh, the European Union uh, committed itself uh, not only to reduce uh, the, the carbon emissions in the, in the coming years, but also to build a larger share of uh, renewable energy. And in this respect, the, the combination uh, will see a, a clear shift uh, to a larger share of uh, solar, wind, and also thermal uh, energy uh, within the in- energy mix uh, in Europe. Um, so we, we we think that due to this uh, regulation that this increase will continue. Uh, however, if you uh, look at the um, uh, International Energy Agency data, uh, the overall energy mix, the global of, uh, the global energy mix, will uh, not change uh, materially uh, until uh, 2035. So uh, a rising trend, but uh, limited impact. Hans, thank you very much. That's all we've got time for right now, but stick around as the Dukascopy TV team will be bringing you all the latest news and events impacting market movements today. Goodbye for now.